Hello and welcome back to HammerTech. Today I am going to show you how to boot a USB or hard drive at boot up. So let's get started. So what I'm just going to show you is just a little pref uh, just a little uh, of what I'm using. I'm just going to be using a USB, a two gigabyte. And so let's get started with the commands, the goodness. So we'll do first we'll do sudo blkid. Now this is just the identifier or whatever, just to tell us what, where the drive and what drive it is. So this is the drive, one of the identifiers that you can use, or you can use the UUID. In my personal preference, I would be using the UUID because for one, it's a very un it's the unique identifier. It will never change. This, on the other hand, will change or could change if once you reboot your system it all depends uh so this is the one i would prefer and recommend to use because it will never change makes it a lot easier so what we're going to just do is have we're just going to open a g editor or editor for that matter just copy and paste that in there get rid of this quotation you're good on this step so the next step you're going to want to do is cat process whoops Cross dash mounts. Now this is going to give us where the drive is mounted and then some of the permissions and all that that we need for this drive in order to boot correctly or boot correctly. Yes. Uh, so what you're looking for is my drive. So here it is. Here's the unique identifier. But this is whoops. This is the line that you're going to want right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste that just like we did with the first. All right, so we've got that. So next we want to do is I'm already in ETC file, if you can't tell, um, or if you uh, don't exactly know where you're at. Um, so what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up all the way to root here, and I'm gonna change to what would be known as your folder or whatever that you would start out with. So this is the f this is how it would be if you, uh, for example, opened up a brand new terminal. This is what you'd have. Uh, for me, I got a couple of bit more stuff in there than you would. Maybe it all depends. Uh, so what you want to do just to find the spot that you're looking for, you want to go back. This is how you go back a directory in uh, terminal. So as you can see, I'm back in my my uh, one of my fold uh, like home folder. So change back again, I'm in root. So we'll change to ETC. And now I'm in the ETC folder, do an LS. And you can see all this uh, stuff, good stuff in Linux, you know. So uh, what you're looking for is F stab right here. So, uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna do sudo, so that way you can make yourself a super user, G edit f stab now what's going to happen is for my case it didn't happen but it would come back and prompt you for a password so uh just your login password so it's not very uh so it's not uh, a scary thing it's just just to allow you to get root so next you want to do is you want to copy this line or all this goodness into the f stab folder now, and by doing this, it will allow your system to boot this USB drive on boot. Uh, one thing that could help, for example, uh, you could quote out and make it USB or whatever. Maybe it's a hard drive. You, you use use hard drive or uh, so that way it makes it a little bit easier if you have more than one. So, if, for example, there was another USB you had and... Uh, you didn't want to mix up the UUIDs and you knew which one, uh, which UUID you had. Uh, so that's just one way of making it easier. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, don't worry about that. I just went and recopied everything and copied and paste. So that way, because I got rid of something. So what you want to do is you want to save it. Once you save it, you should be good to go on what you can do now is close all your windows and you can try you can reboot and you should have a USB your USB should auto boot for you 
So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All that doobly-doo in the down, down below section. And I will see you all later.